Hey, wait. One, two, oh my God. one. Oh my God. One, <laughs> two, three, Trump. Yup. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Sean. Yes, sir. I was just wondering, because I saw your interview with Mike O'Hearn. So next topic. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Steroids. Drugs. Oh, there we Drugs. go. There Drugs. we go. Drugs. I didn't think that was coming up. Oh. Michael O'Hearn. Michael O'Hearn? Yeah. Do you believe that guy's really natural or you call bullshit on that? I don't know. What do you call? What do you think? I smell the steroids from a mile away. <laughs> God damn. I'll tell you what. What happened to the old days? All these guys out here, you know, fake butts and all this stuff, fake yeah, muscles, steroids. Wrong. What happened to the old natural days like Arnold? Those days are gone, bro. God damn, Mike's gone. in there. You'll see him when he comes out. He's in there? Well, yeah. I got kicked out because oh, this, yeah, this woman took my daughter's $200. And I confronted her about it. I said, you going to give me that money back? We you know, one of them bullshit little cook cutter plans. Yeah. She ain't getting my money back. They call security. They going to escort my ass the hell up out of there. Wow. But yep. Crazy. Well, if you see Mike, tell him I said what's up. I will tell that fake natty <laughs> bastard. I'll tell him. Merc. God damn, it stinks over here. God damn, y'all look good, but y'all stink. What's your name? Michelle. Jester, I just want to thank you for all that you do. And I want to put some American respect on that ass. Yes, sir. This was built on American soil. Have a good one, y'all. Merc. Excuse me. Just want to thank you for all that you do. <laughs> Trust me, them pictures you put out on Instagram get me through a lot of rough nights. Yep. America. You know we had a terrorist in here, right? Oh yeah. We had a guy driving a goddamn Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, little bastard. I don't f with none of that stuff. It ain't American. I don't give a shit. Go and take that shit to the goddamn scrapyard. Y'all here together? Huh? Y'all out here together? Yeah. Just enjoying a little fitness expo? <laughs> I'll tell you, I'd be a lot happier if I was at a Trump rally right now. I don't care about none of this. Let's cut to the chase. I like the mustache here. Thank you. <laughs> we need to build that goddamn wall, and we need to build it high. Yep. Mur. Excuse me, sir. I had a question. I was gonna assume that you're a liberal. Why would you assume anything? I don't know, just kind of way you look. I just kind of tell books. So you're judging covered. me by how I look? Yes, sir. That means you must be a liberal. I'm a goddamn conservative. Well, I then voted why would Trump you judge every somebody by how they look? Sir, I just know, you don't know everything. Shit. I know everything. Goddamn libtard. Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. You look familiar. Yeah. My friends were posting and supporting this individual. I feel like when I normally do these things, that's what I say, is this individual. And I kind of like reference at the person and hope you all figure it out. But I'm not going to do that this time. I think you should all unfollow and stop supporting Brittany Dawn Fitness, and I will tell you exactly why. glaring issue is that she has scammed ripped off stolen really from so many women um and if you would like some more um proof on that go look at her yelp reviews and And for even more proof, um, more legitimate proof, I would check out her Better Business Bureau um, claims.
some of the things that have happened is that um, she says they're individualized plans and the plans are not individualized. Um, she also, if people will complain that they're on too low of calories or that there are issues, she will just ignore them, stop talking to them. So that's a big problem, especially when as a business owner, you don't make it right. Like it is your responsibility um, to make it right, especially when you talk about supporting women. Um, that's not how you support women. And then one of my biggest issues is that what she'll do is talk about being plant-based is how she's lost so much weight. Because if you do look at her photos, she's, I'd say stage lean. That's fucking, that's very lean. So she'll say, you know, with consistency um, and being plant-based and, and uh, following my plan, I've been able to achieve this body. And you can too. Just swipe up and go to my page to purchase one of my programs. And I'm gonna just show you, uh, instead of telling you, what my response was to that. She didn't read it and I, I didn't think she would, but this is how I truly feel about it. I think it's really important as people and especially business owners with half a million followers that when people bring to your attention problematic issues that you acknowledge that, talk about it in a constructive way, but this is not what she does, okay? <laughs> what she does is she's very rude um, in response and if she responds, but usually what she does is just blocks people, deletes their comments and, and says that it's bullying. It's not bullying to want answers to why a woman who's making money off of women is taking advantage of them and fucking like, it's just, it's not okay. That's not bullying. Calling out problematic behavior and, and individuals is not bullying and more people should do it. That's how I feel. So in conclusion, I recommend that you spread the knowledge to others, um, to unfollow her, to not support her, and to also do that for other people that you feel are not um, being ethical, that are not being true to their word. I mean, it's, it's important to not support those people. So that's what I recommend. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. You look familiar. Yeah. You look like you stole my daughter's money. Are you kidding me? I ain't kidding you. Are you kidding me? Yep, you took $200. Hey, this woman took $200 from my daughter. I'm gonna ask you later Can I get my money back before I file a complaint on her? It ain't nothing with you, but the fact that she stole $200 from my daughter from her fitness plan, blocked her on Instagram. I'm gonna need you to step And while she's hiding back there, she can't handle it. I'm gonna need you to step out of the booth. All right, sir, because I'm about to call the police if I don't get my $200 back. Hey, I'm gonna call the police if you don't step out of my fucking booth. Well, I better get my money back. I wanna talk to her. Well, you're not gonna talk to her. Why do you got a problem with me? You got, it's okay because to steal you're money? In my booth, you're sir, you need to calm people. down, get a dip. You get a dip, sir. Come on now. Well, you just talk to her real quick. I gotta calm down, sir. I gotta calm down. Hey, Ryan. You see that? She stole my daughter's money, and she ain't gonna give it back. You see that? But seriously, for security, get this fucking asshole out of here. I ain't an asshole, sir. You're an asshole for fucking standing up for her. You guys spilling tobacco on my fucking... This is the U.S. of A. This is goddamn American soil right here. He's harassing Brittany. I'll see her in court! That's right, this is for all the girls you stole money from. You look like a Cheeto. Lionel.